Does this look familiar? Not 2014, but 2007, the year of the Great Floods, which led to a government review, which led to the 2010 Floods Act, which laid down rules that developers should stop making buildings in a way that make flooding worse. The thinking behind the act led to developments like this. It looks like a park, and it is, in southeast Sheffield, but it's also a smart drainage system to capture rainwater and prevent flooding. Normally rainfall from new developments like this flows into the sewers where it quickly swells rivers and makes flooding worse. Not here. The water's carried by pipe to this pile of rocks where it seeps slowly into the ground. Capturing water on the surface from this housing development, uh, the pollution's removed because it goes through vegetation. It provides for biodiversity and landscape benefits for the community, but also providing that flood prevention by controlling the flow into the stream locally. The house builders say that ponds like this take space and that costs money. They want to trap the water in giant tanks underground. The experts say the tanks will cause problems with maintenance and won't bring the wider benefits that a scheme like this offers. County councils will do the maintenance, then charge people living on new estates an annual fee in place of what they'd otherwise have paid on their water rates. The government promised MPs to publish the rules by April this year, but this week it admitted it couldn't make that revised deadline. A spokesman said the government still intended to go ahead with the plans. Roger Harabin, BBC News, 